we'll get straight into it. Uh, the key areas for me, uh, from a hamstring point of view, to reduce the likelihood of injury for Australian rules football is number one, conditioning. So making sure you've got a resilient whole body um, when it comes to training. Obviously, football is a hugely demanding on your um, body. So we want to make sure that you're agile. You can change direction uh, really, really well from a footwork perspective. So making sure that you're quick on your feet, both not in the forward plane, but also laterally, um, you can repeat efforts really, really well. So those high intensity, hard efforts on a footy field, you've got the endurance in the legs to be able to repeat those. And then of course the aerobic demands uh, being the longest team game in the world, you need to be able to have good aerobic base. So making sure that you're fit enough, you have a good tank to be able to handle the amount of volume that is covered in a typical Australian rules football game. So hip lock is really, really important and doing those hip lock stability drills, not just at a slow pace. Once the athlete's got a good understanding of what hip lock should feel like, where we're not sloppy through the hips and we're not um, swaying from side to side, where we've got a good balance between the hips. You're not uh, arching the lower back or you're not tucking the pelvis under with knees getting up too high. You've got that solid sound base of, of hip lock and good awareness around it. Then we want to move it as fast as possible to replicate the velocities um, that we're doing at the field. And then from a strength point of view with your hamstrings, lengthening is strengthening. So we want to make sure we have good control with our uh, outer range movements. So for the knee-based uh, hamstring work, that will be things like Nordics, sliders, uh, Swiss ball curls or even hamstring machine curls. You might on the machine, you might do two um, on the way up. So both legs curl the weight up and then do one on the way down. So we're really demanding and, and um, focusing on the lengthening phase of the hamstrings. And then we've got our hip based hamstrings to strengthen the top of the hips. Really important for things like when you decelerate on the field, you want a hip hinge at the trunk um, to load the top of the hip joints. Um, so things like ground balls, we want to make sure we're strong through the hamstrings and the, and the hips, uh, and to be able to also handle those, uh, high forces on the field where you suddenly pump on the brakes. So RDL variations are really important to strengthen the, your proximal hamstrings, the top, the hip base hamstrings, any variation from double leg with a barbell, double leg with dumbbells. You might do a split stance where you've got probably more weight on your front foot, um, and you're loading up that front leg to uh, overload the the a predominantly the front leg more than the than two legs, and then you can progress that for more instability going into a single leg RDL. In terms of the podcast this week, it's another massive week on the show. We've got our Wednesday interview to be published, which is with Josh Manuel. He's the uh, first of four year strength and conditioning coach, as well as helping out the rehabilitation program at the Adelaide Crows. Really looking forward to releasing that podcast. It was a fantastic interview that I did a couple of weeks ago. Josh talks about the philosophy, uh, not only from an athlete development point of view, but also from a whole holistic point of view, how they help develop um, their athletes to be able to play the Adelaide Crows way. Um, on Thursday, we have an event uh, in Eventbrite for Academy members. It's for free. So make sure to check your email to be able to use the coupon code. For everyone else, you can purchase it for a $10 ticket. And I'll be discussing one at three o'clock on Thursday, how to create and launch your own podcast, everything from sharing my run sheets to how I get guests on the show to how I stream live um, and um, how we build up our um, view, views on our podcast, how to get some advertising as well. And then on th Thursday at 4 p.m. for the Australian Rules Footballers, I'll be doing a podcast all about how to make the most of your off-season training program. So breaking it down into key areas of conditioning and also strength and power. So same deal for academy members, that is for free. Um, and for non-academy members, it's $10 for a ticket. If you're interested in either of those events, make sure to click the link in our um, podcast um, description to be able to uh, purchase your ticket. Tickets are running out and we release that next Thursday.